Georgia with Corning Digital and Gerber Technology at Text Process Americas. Text Process is the largest North American trade show displaying equipment and technology for the development, sourcing, and production of sewn products. Today we're giving you an up-close look at how Gerber and Corning are enabling innovative solutions that turn concepts into consumer products in ways that are faster, more efficient, and truly representative of the digital world we live in. Now, Corning and Gerber have set up this micro factory behind me, and I'm going to take you inside and show you what it's all about. Gerber is a company that for the past 50 years has been innovating and helping our customers to design, develop, and produce products, getting their products to market faster through integrated approaches with our people, our software, and our automation system solutions. So Karsten, can you walk us through what's happening here today? Absolutely. So you see the complete setup for a micro factory. So we're going from the design of a product, an apparel product, through um, all the steps, planning it, uh, specking the features, simulating in 3D what it would look like, and then going through the spreading, cutting, manufacturing process, all the way through a digital print. So you go really show this concept of an on-demand micro factory in real action. And so you're in charge of software with Gerber Technology. What role does software play in the micro factory? Well, software powers it all, right? Because to make that happen and uh, have an on-demand process, you need data, and you need data to connect seamlessly, and our software does that, so it does the integration and the connection, and then software helps with the applications of managing the information. So Scott, you are in charge of automation at Gerber. What role does automation play in the micro factory? So it, it really plays uh, the central role because a micro factory is all about digital printing of uh, textile, feeds right into the whole cutting process, and then after that outputs the pieces to be sewn. And all that can be done you know, fairly automatically all the way through the process from the print to the piece. And so a lot of people hear automation, they think robots, they think you know, replacement of jobs. What do you say to those people? I'd say actually uh, automation improves jobs and you see that over time through history and it, it lets people do a uh, higher level, higher order jobs and quite frankly more the menial tasks are left to uh, automation. off of uh, the robotic sewing system down at Henderson. So you can see we went from design all the way through to print, to cut, to sew, to a pillow you can sleep on tonight. Cornet is a company that is uh, actually the leader in uh, direct to uh, garment printing. We have uh, different solutions for printing on t-shirts, on uh, roll-to-roll -roll fabrics, etc., with a pigment solution. And the Allegro is our roll-to-roll -roll direct to fabric solution uh, based on pigment printing and intended for the fashion, apparel, and home decor market. And so what are the advantages of printing this way? Uh, what you see is what you get, okay? The printer that you see here is all you need in order to start a business of direct to fabric. Uh, this makes it a very sustainable solution. What does it mean? It means that you don't need any additional equipment, any additional labor, any additional chemistry. It's a waterless solution. It's a dry printing process, okay? We are using our own IP solution for printing on fabrics. Another advantage is that we are able to print with pigment printing on multiple fabrics, meaning you can print on naturals, you can print on synthetics, uh, and it's a huge advantage. And of course, it's uh, print on demand. 
Ryan, a lot of people think of textile dyeing as a really old craft. And so when they hear about digitally printed textiles, they may think it's going to lack in quality or capability. What do you say to these skeptics? Well, they're certainly true in early iterations of digital textile printing, but what you're seeing now is a complete game changer. And the fact is, is that digital textile printing is more of an enabler uh, for these individuals, and you have to see, touch, feel, wear what digital printing is on certain fabrics in order to remove those preconceived notions. And you're only limited by your imagination and curiosity, and that's one of the great things about what our technology provides for the modern day designer and brand. And so, you know, we're talking about the micro factory today. How does something like the Allegro fit into Amazon kind of like on-demand marketplace? We live in a prime economy. We, we need things in two days and it's the see now, buy now environment. And it's no longer the major retailers and global brands that dictate, you know, how we buy. The consumers and the voice of the consumer owns that channel. And uh, what you see now and what we're showing here in the micro factory is that in eight days from idea until being on the racks, that's what we provide. It's a finished product to be on the rack in eight days, opposed to the uh, traditional way of doing things where it takes, you know, a variance of eight months. And that's what we're able to do. We're an enabler of technology. And it's the future, right? It's today. So, Bill, what do you think that the impact of the micro factory is on the future of this industry? I think that this whole concept, this micro factory concept, can be very transformative to the textile industry, whether you're making apparel or home goods. It really is going to help companies to be far more agile. It's going to be good for both their business and the environment. It's going to create jobs in our local economies all around the world. I think it's going to give our customers the opportunity to be more agile and meet the needs of their consumers. Great, thank you. Thank you.